What's up, guys? It's Kof, and we get a new season of the global map. This time it is a gold season, obviously, because uh, we just had tank season in February. So, anyway, uh, we're going to watch the video from Wargaming, and then um, I'll run you through it. So, big changes are coming to the global map. The next season will be an experimental season and will be the first to feature the new system of reward distribution. That's the five kills and... Previously, gold was only credited to the clan treasury and only the commander and officers decided which players would receive their share of it. Like now, it. the system will take into account personal achievements of each particular player as well. And the amount of gold will directly depend on your activity on the global map. All rewards will be distributed among players and clans on the leaderboard. There are three leaderboards in the season. Okay, so. Uh, you have a chance to gain daily gold and bonds. Uh, I believe Thursdays are the highest pool for gold and bonds. So Thursdays are going to be the big day to be playing Clan Wars. And uh, yeah, so let's move on. Personal, Clan, and Summary. To get onto the Personal Leaderboard, you need to earn Fame Points. You can get them only for taking part in battles. The first 15 earned Fame Points are for qualification, after which you will appear on the Personal Leaderboard. Gold is provided for each place on the Personal Leaderboard. And Bonds are awarded for achieving particular places. The amount of Gold and Bonds depends directly on the number of players who have passed qualification. I believe you have to be in the top 50% of all players to receive bonds. I believe that's what I read in the article. So get to the top 50 of bond or of players. I think it's it should be daily. So you have to get 15 points daily to qualify and then be in the top 50%. I'm not really sure how this is going to work yet because uh, they said something about daily rewards. So we'll find out. Hopefully it's going to be kind of like... Um, War games for advances where you get uh, gold the next day. So, continuing now. Simply put, the more players, the higher the total prize pool. Each day, the personal leaderboard is calculated and all results are reset. Gold and. So, I spoke to some. Bonds are accumulated and you can take them at any time. When you leave the clan or when the season is over, they will be credited automatically. To get onto the clan leaderboard, you also need to earn points. They are credited in a similar way as in the game events for the clan's participation in battles. More battles mean more points. It's simple. Additionally, each clan has an op and the clan will receive rewards weekly, but he's probably about to say that, so. Opportunity to receive additional points. Obviously, the clan rewards are going to go to the treasury. Once for each newly captured province as well as for holding a province or a group of provinces and for completing special missions. Calculation of the clan leaderboard occurs once a week. After the results are calculated, the table is reset and all clans that occupy prize places are credited the corresponding rewards. The clan leaderboard prize pool equals the sum of all the gold and bonds earned on the personal leaderboard for the week. Relevant information about personal and clan leaderboards is available on the global map. The summary leaderboard is formed by the results of the season. The reward system remains the same as in previous seasons. The points accumulated by clans define their position in the summary table. As rewards, there will be commemorative medals and customization elements. No badges. So I'm kind of sad. I wish they would do gold season badges also, but I kind of see that that would... I understand why they don't do it because that just like fold the badge system and make the badges less important I guess because you get what four seasons a year instead of two um but I, I think for like the top 10% of clans should probably or not 10% uh, like the top 15 clans should probably get badges I think for gold season I think that'd make it kind of cool and kind of worth uh, a little extra to play for right the new principle of global map work is I really like the style by the way. aimed at rewarding players for personal achievements while retaining the strategic component of clans. It's also based on a simple rule. 
The more players complete qualification, the more Earth Elemental style is not bad either, but it's no it's not the Warrior of the North style that they're about to tell us about. More gold and bonds there will be. You can learn all about the new system from the event regulations on the game website. Try the new system and earn rewards on the global map. Good luck, commanders. Look at that Warrior of the North style. So pretty. So, oh, so, um, as you can see here, they show your daily prize pool. Wednesdays look like they're the, the least amount possible that you can get. Uh, every day is basically the same except for Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday is going to be your big day. Wednesday is not. Um, and I guess this is just because of the number of people that are able to play on Thursdays. I guess Thursday's the, the hot day for the North American server. I wonder if this is different on uh, EU or uh, the Asian server, um, but I'm not sure. So anyway, I've already been through that. Already, uh, Fog of War will be on, obviously, for Clan Wars, uh, which, if you don't know, is just uh, a way to make it that you're not able to see your opponent's uh, lineup. Uh, clan tasks, so um, I believe those are weekly missions that you can complete to get extra gold and uh, bonds. I believe there were some bonds in it before. Uh, no province income. Uh, obviously, nope for either of these. Uh, no rentals. Uh, no alliances. I don't know what that is. No convoys. Don't know what that is. Auctions and influence. I have no clue. Uh, political rating, headquarters, vehicle lock. No vehicle lock, that's a good thing. Um, obviously, you can't have vehicle lock for um, for gold season. That's only tank season. Uh, divisions can be created in any province. So no advanced front and no elite front. Um, division created, creation and upkeep are free. Uh, I think you still get penalties if you overchip. And the max number of chips you can get is six with 90 plus people with tier 10 tanks. Uh, clan leaderboard, you have to get five kills to get the fame. This is how the fame lays out. I'm not really sure exactly how this is gonna work. Um, these tables are kind of confusing to me uh, per personally because it says victory in the tournament on the landing province. I get it now. Okay, never mind. Okay. Yeah, I got it. So this is for the landing tournament. I think so that'd be round one. Any round after round one. Uh, and then fighting the province owner. Um, so round one is not where you're going to get your fame points. You're going to get your fame points from after round one and fighting province owners. Um, I have no clue what this means. <laughs> Um, I have no clue what the difference is here. Um, anyway, um, fan points make no sense here. Oh, these are clan fam. So this is looks like it'll be normal clan fame like you would have uh, in the old oh okay I got it yeah, yeah, yeah. so this is like this is just like clan fame was for the tank season um, battle multiplier so there's a multiplier nice Don't know what that means, but anyway. So you get daily clan fame for holding provinces, um, and then you get clan fame for holding multiple provinces. Um, here's how your styles end up being. Uh, to get the new style, you have to get top 10%. And you get Warrior of the North and the Earth Elemental style. 
Uh, everybody will get uh, the participation emblem. Uh, all you have to do is make it to the top 75 percent, which is probably going to be around 140 to 150. Um, if you want the earth element, if you just want the earth elements element style, um, you just have to make top 50 uh, percent. Uh, here's a look at the styles. Warrior of the North. This style kind of looks really cool to me, personally. Kind of like blue. I like the blue. I like the, the Scandinavian Viking de design to it. Uh, Earth Elemental has been around for a little while, but if you haven't seen it, it is kind of like a uh, burnt orange to brown and stuff like that. And I believe it is based on... Um, uh, like wolves and dragons and stuff. Really weird. I don't really understand the element styles, honestly. They don't make a lot of sense to me. Um, so, uh, what can you build? You can build 2D styles, you can build reserves, you can build bonds, and you can build uh, the ultimate bundle, which is kind of the best thing you can get. Uh, honestly, uh, the 2D styles are really cool, and I really enjoy uh, these 2D styles. They all have the global map emblem on them, um, so it kind of shows you that you actually played <laughs> the global map. Uh, the urban and the digital adapted are really cool. Um, and then you got the personal reserves. This is probably the weakest one, uh, personally, for me. I would go for the ultimate bundle, and then I would go for um, the styles, and then the bonds if you're able to play enough to build all three. I don't know how much you can build. Uh, anyway, I believe this is all of the maps in the game currently. Obviously no Minsk and no Kharkov because they are no longer in the game, or they're deactivated anyway, um, for obvious reasons. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is all the active maps in the game right now. Uh, they're all available for play. There will be a 207 provinces. Um, about 25, about a quarter of those, so around 100, or not 100, sorry, around 50 of those will be landing provinces. So those are going to be your big tournaments. Um, and then after you hold land, I believe, you can move. I think you're going to have to hold land, though. Uh, maximum number of applications for a landing is 32, so you can never have a tournament more than 32 teams. Maximum number of landing applications will be six if you have 90 plus members who have the tier 10 vehicles. And I believe um, it's ever 15 under that, you lose a chip. So you dip below 90, it goes all the way down to 75. And then you have five. And then it goes all the way down to 60. And you have four. Then it goes all the way down to 45. And you have five and then he goes all the way down to 30 and you have four and then 15 you have three i believe you do have to have 15 members at least to gain ships and i believe you have just the three so uh penalties for no show um you lose a chip after your first one and take a 10 point or 10 percent fame point um, penalty basically the only thing you have to worry about here is uh, turn on your battle replays and uh, yeah don't use illegal mods so that'll be all for me uh, there will be a playoff at the end of the season for the top clans. Don't know how much that's going to be. Uh, they're probably still working on it. Obviously, they've got a lot to worry about right now with uh, moving the entire company out of Russia. So, or Belarus. So, yeah, that'll be it for me. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>